Okay, this is going to be a quick video on Melissa, again, this time used in Josephus. The problem that I'm going to have is that um, in Bible Works 8, I cannot search on his use of Melista the way I had showed you in Bible Works uh, 5 for the other books of the Bible. Now, presumably this problem of not being able to search is fixed in Bible Works version 9, so maybe you can search in your copy of Josephus in Bible Works. But I haven't yet installed version 9 of Bible Works, so all I can do right now is just talk about the word itself without showing frequency of usage, which is a very necessary scholastic thing to do. After I've installed Bible Works 9, I'll revisit this topic, cover it again, showing how Josephus uses the term. Okay? Highlighted, unfortunately, in blue because it's Bible Works 8 and they don't give me a choice of what color I can use for highlighting. Highlighted in blue is Melista, and I'm going to unhighlight it now that you know where it is. Notice here the word ta. This is the big difference between Bible use of the term and Josephus. It seems as though it wouldn't be a big deal to people who don't know much about language because they don't understand that little tiny changes, especially in uh, certain literary languages like Greek, little tiny changes have great big differences in meaning and usage. And a, a true scholar would pay attention to the little tiny changes. So that's what I'm doing here. You don't find ta malista used in scripture. Even when the word malista is used, it's used in its classical Homeric sense like I showed you, malista da. Okay, that's how Homer used it, that's how Aristotle used it, that's how Demosthenes used it, you know, and they don't use it often. It's basically something that highlights this thing above the other things I've been saying. Or this is the most important point or the most important group. It's just that word that is used just by itself. There is no tamalista. Okay? Josephus is using malista as a substantive. He's using it as a nominative substantive. Not nominative, but um, accusative, neuter, plural. That is not the use of malista ever in scripture. Okay? This is an entirely different use of the term. You know, he's basically saying what Dickens would say many years later. It was the best of times. And he's using that phrase to say so. Okay? That's just, that's, that's new. That's new Greek. Greek, you know, even Paul, who was writing, what, in the 60, late 60s A.D., he never used the term. Neither did anybody else in the Bible. And John is writing in the 90s A.D. John doesn't use Melista at all, anywhere. So this must be something either special to the Romans, or, or Josephus is writing, you know, I want to say that he's writing in the late 70s AD, but whatever it is, this is new. This is a change in the way the Greek language is written. And as you'll see in the next increment, by Hadrian's time, this kind of usage of, of the word malista had become common. Except they, they, they don't call, they don't say ta malista, it's t. All right, and you're going to see that because I'm going to show you the text in the next increment. But what I want to get across to you is that the older use of Melista was just as an adverb, and then it, as a phrase, it would be Melista da. It was very seldom used. Yes, it goes back to Homer, but that's the only use of it. It was not used as a superlative. It was used to mean especially to distinguish one thing from others with a great deal of stress. But it became used commonly by 
the late 50s, maybe middle, well, late 50s, definitely late 50s AD, and then was still in usage in the middle 60s AD, because we saw that, that it's even in the Bible text, used in the classic Homeric sense. But it is not used this way. It is not used, Melista is not used as a substantive. Okay? Here it's being used as a substantive, even though it's an adjective. And that is, Greek does do that. But it's not used this way anywhere else. Okay? Or, it's, or if it is used elsewhere, it's not used elsewhere in the Bible. Now, unfortunately, my mouse isn't working. So, and unfortunately, when I go to highlight, I can only use dark blue because some ding dong at Bible Works decided that you, we no longer would have the ability to craft um, our own highlighting colors. That's why that's why I stand Bible Works Five. It's a much better version in terms of usage. So, just to understand here that I can't get I can't get the mouse to highlight it properly. The tamalista here, that's a new usage of the word as a substantive, as a superlative, using the ta to designate it as a substantive. Because otherwise it's just still an adjective adverb. That's where Josephus differs. Now how often does Josephus use the term in his writings? I don't know. I'm going to have to install Bible Works 9 and find out. But do you understand the difference? This is an entirely different usage versus what I showed you in scripture, which means that this is new compared to scripture, that the scripture is older than when he's writing, okay? At least most of it, because it's not in John either, and John is definitely written in the 90s AD. John Datelines Revelation has uh, 94 AD in Revelation 1, 1 through 3. He uses the meter to dateline his book like every other Bible writer does. So this is either being written after the 90s AD, and maybe it is, you know, maybe the original copy that Josephus wrote was in the 70s AD, and then he edited it several times. That was a very common thing to do. And by the time we get this final copy here, it's using post-90 AD vocabulary. That could be. I don't know enough to say more than what I'm telling you now. But do you, do you see that there is a, indeed a change in the use of Melista? If not, yell at me in the comments. Um, am I still recording? Peace out.